today for today's video I'm going to be doing my nails and we are going to be doing um, five ideas that you can do on your nails. Um, it can be used for different seasons, any time of year that you would like. So I have all my nail polish here in color coded by Rainbow Order and then like and then the camera and my glitters, my white and black. I am using to add little details, I am using Sharpie. I have one brown and two blacks. And um, to add some color but details, I, I'm i gonna see if these work. Hopefully they do. Um, I have dry erase markers, skinny dry erase markers, so we're gonna try those out also. Um, we have a couple colors missing from the rainbow. And the glitter because my sister is also doing her nails over here. You guys have seen her from our Shake It Off video and uh, way another other videos over there. But um, we have a white and black over here. And there's all different types and um, brands. So we have lots of pure ice. That's one my mom really likes. But let's get on to the first one. So wait, what you will need for it is we have Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure. It's 130 Gill Tea Party. And pick a finger that you want to do it on, or fingers. It's pretty cute. I've done it a little bit, but it's coming off. So just do that. And Sally Hansen Pure Eyes, we have lots of those. Um, they dry really fast, so. And I'm just gonna do one on each of my fingers, and then I'll repeat. So you, but you can repeat it for any of the fingers you want. So I did this finger. Just waiting, and I'll be back when it is dry. So once your finger is dry, it's not that pretty, but it'll come off. Um, just paint your finger silver. And I really like this because you can either take your black bottle and stick a toothpick in it, or your Sharpie or your dry erase marker. Experiment. And you can try it. I wanna try this one. So what you wanna do, is up top. Okay, so I'm gonna draw two hoops at the top. something for my sister. Oh, never mind. She's done. Here comes our red. Oh, and we've got some sparkles. We have no more room. Sparkles go over here. Okay. So now we're going to use... Okay. So now... I'm gonna add a little pink to the nose. And two ears. The little line, the hoops at the top, um, those are the ears. And then pick a color for the eyes. Blue, green. I'll buckle it, one second. And I will show you after I buckle my sisters. 
Okay, so for my eyes, I did blue. And it's supposed to be like a little panda. Or you can do like an orange or a black and on the bottom and then do stripes with the other orange or black and make it so it look, and make the same thing and make it look like the pointy ears and some whiskers and make it look like a cat or like anything you would like to do any animal this is really easy to do i did a panda it's not that good but but i think it's really cute to have a little panda on your nail that's really cute so that's what i call the panda now for our second one you'll need black or you can do white. Sorry, guys, that fell. Okay. Or you can do white, and then you can use your black marker to make it. Work. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to use white since I don't have a white marker. So take your white paint. I think this one is really cute if you're just now starting school, even though it's like January. But if you're starting school, or if you love school and you just want to celebrate in the year, or if it's like teacher appreciation week or something, then you can do this one. So m most of these. Well, not most, but like ooh, about half of these have to do with like school or school supplies. So. You might have to do a couple coats. Make sure you shake it really good. So I'm gonna wait till mine dries, and if um, I need more coats, I will do more coats, and then I'll come back to you guys. Okay? So far, it looks like this, but it's still wet. So we will get back to you on that. Okay, guys, it's done, and my sister is really bothering me with the nail polish, so stop. No. Okay, so the white is... Stop touching it. Okay, fine, whatever. Okay, so it's white. You can see my panda, but it's white. And now I'm going to take a black Sharpie instead. Take a black Sharpie? If you had black, if you had a white marker, then you could do this. But I don't, so... I'm gonna write A. I'm gonna write A. The big rotten door. Let me break it. Let me have it. Just let me give it to you. A B. Give it to me. Okay. And a C. Okay. On it, and if you can't fit it on right next to each other, just go to a different one. My B doesn't look good. I think my A looks. Best. ABC. And now it's like a whiteboard or a chalkboard or whatever. Don't mind my brothers in the background. That's normal then. Anyway, that's that. Okay, now we have to quickly go on to our next one. So this one is going to be really cute. You'll need like a pinkish color. Or you can use the marker, but I'm going to use it. And you're going to go to the very bottom of the Oh, that's not good. We'll fix it. Can I use a piece of paper towel? Yes. Okay, my sister got me a piece of paper towel. And we're going to take it. I need a little bit of paper towel. Let me get one. Thaddeus, you just you just want to watch Netflix. 
My brother is afraid. Okay, so I just took a little bit of egg towel. You can rub it off with purple. Make sure it dries, and I'll be back when it dries. Okay, I did a thin layer, because I like thin layers. Um, now, you'll need a marker. Any color, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna draw a line. We're not gonna use a dry erase marker for this. Where's the other one right here? I'm not gonna do a dry erase marker. No, any color, I would prefer black. Sharpies work better when it's actually on the nail, not on the nail polish. But the erase markers work better with the nail polish. Okay, so that's what it looks like so far. Now you're gonna need some orange. And now we purple. Guys, don't hit anything. Daddy is doing food. Daddy is flowing food. Daddy is. Daddy is Eugene. No. Not in wheat. Color the top half orange. You don't need anything on the top. So you'll, for this, you'll need pink, orange, a sh and some sh sh a sharpie. Guys, no throwing things. So I'll be back when it dries. So the orange is done. So this is what my nail looks like. Now you're gonna take a marker. I prefer this because it's gonna be on top of your nail polish, and you're just gonna do a black mark. Boys, can you turn it down? As I said, the, uh, most of them are like school or school supplies. And can you guys guess what this one is? And also make your line on the top. My sisters are doing nail polish and they keep taking. The polish keeps coming and disappearing. So, I'll see, to add some details, you can do little lines on the orange part. And then, there you have it. You have a pencil. So, so far we have these three, and now to the next one. So for our fourth one, we are going to be doing a spring theme, so you'll need some green, different colors of green. Um, you'll need some pink, and you'll need some colorful glitter. Our, we have some that are perfect because we have this one with green, yellow, pink, blue. We have this one with pink, green, white, yellow, and it has green, it has green flowers on it, so that one's perfect. So we're gonna do this, and I'll come back and tell you what to do. You just wanna paint it all green, okay? The first one. And you can like mix different greens together and take a toothpick or something and swirl it together. So I'll come back with mine. Okay, so once you're done, you swirling it together. I use the Sharpie lid to help, but I, it doesn't really matter. And now I'm going to use these flowers to do it next. And I just use three shades of green. So let's do these flowers and I'll come back when I'm done. Okay guys, sorry I'm talking so fast, but I have to do this in under 15 minutes and it's almost at 14. So anyway, this is what it turned out to be. And now we're going to be doing a heart for Valentine's Day since it's soon. What I'm going to be using is red and I'm going to be using red and pink marker. So first you're gonna paint the nail that you want red and I'll get back to you on that. You can do any kind of design you want since I, and I'm doing red, pink, red, so you can do anything you want with the background. Once you're done, draw a heart on it. I did red, pink, red, and then I'm now gonna draw a heart with either nail polish or marker, your choice, and you can add glitter or anything you want. Okay guys, I'm gonna quickly show you all of mine. So I did the Valentine's Day, the panda, the check, the whiteboard, the pencil, and spring. Now I'm gonna do my other hand all glitter and, all, and shiny, and I'll get back to you on that. These are, this is my glitter nail, and it's all dry, and I hope you guys like this video. Bye-bye!